my friends and welcome to another episode. Ever wonder how long it takes to take a truck camper off of your truck? Here, one sec, let me start the timer. Let's go, generator started. I'm gonna take all the turnbuckles off, raise it up, dry my truck out, lower it. Let's see how long it takes. And if it was really cold out, I could literally just do this from inside my truck. I love this remote controller. I'm just gonna take my chains off and put my license plate on. And if I wanted to, I could put my slide out, but I'm not going to. This is probably the most consuming time right here. If I had fast guns, it, I wouldn't do this. It would just be a simple, simple one-step process. And of course these get all rusty and dirt gets in there, so sometimes they're real hard to, to get off. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. Let's see how long it took. Ah, 10 minutes and 30, 40 seconds. 10 minutes and 40 seconds, and I'm guessing, I'll do a little video on how long it takes to put on, but I'm guessing it takes around 15 to 20 minutes to put on, just because you have to line the truck up perfectly, and sometimes if you're a little bit off or the ground is a little bit uneven, it's a little bit harder and it's a little bit more time consuming. Ah, uh, by the way, I'm at the gun range. My favorite spot ever. <laughs> you, you can probably hear those shotguns going off in the distance. How nice is this, eh? Now my generator shut off unexpected right there. So I wonder if I'm out of propane. Let's open. Ooh, it's feeling pretty light. Yeah, I'm out of propane. So it's been, it's dropped below zero for the last few nights and I've been running my furnace a lot because I've been freezing at night and as soon as you run your furnace, you know, you're, you're draining that propane pretty quick. So one tank, I think I filled that tank up four days ago. So it goes fast. I have to go get some firewood right now, and uh, <clears throat> it's it's a real long drive. Just check this out. Wow, that was a long drive. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see this, <clears throat> but this is the skeet and trap shooting range. Look at all those clays, see all that yellow there? And then the orange. I'd really like to take a trap and skeet shooting course here, but they don't offer one for like another month. But I really want to, because I think with, especially with my shotgun, it would just be fun to come up here and you can like rent out the, uh, well, I don't know what they're called, the things that shoot the clays out. And you can just, it's kind of like a solo little game, you know? I actually asked the guy, because I love it up here so much, I said, you know, can I volunteer? Is there anything I can do, like chop wood or, or, uh, or anything? And he said, yeah, chopping wood, do you have a big ax? And I was like, oh no, I can buy one. He's like, do you have a chainsaw? I was like, no, I don't. Because um, they want a, a bunch of trees cut down and made into firewood. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go buy an ax and uh, just kind of volunteer my time a little bit, chop these and uh, make them into smaller logs so people can have fires next summer. There's just something about a fire, that smell and, oh. Love it, love it, love it. So I wanna do something a little bit different today. Um, this morning it's, uh, what time is it? It's three o'clock, so it gets dark in about two hours. Um, so I wasn't really able to get, create like a full video, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys a really old video that I had. I, I tried to start YouTube about three years ago and the channel was called Morning Motivation. 
and I kind of had the right idea. I just didn't really have much of a game plan. And so I really want to show you one of the first videos that I ever made, I ever edited and put up. Um, I was going to put it up on YouTube, but the channel just didn't even start. I didn't even have the courage to start putting these videos out onto YouTube. So I thought it'd be cool to share that video with you guys. Um, this morning, oh man, I, I was on the phone, like a 1-800 number dealing with some stuff. And I'm sure you guys have all been there before. But you think it's just going to be a, a quick 15 minutes on the phone and then you're transferred over to 10 other people and all of a sudden it's like four hours gone out of my day. So uh, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. It's a fun little video. The audio is a little bit off and some of the stuff I'm saying kind of doesn't really make sense, but check it out. I hope that you enjoy it. Oh, and just to give you a little bit of an idea of what the video is about, it's about failure. So what I'm talking about in this video is the, the more times you fail, the faster you start to succeed because you make all your mistakes and then you learn from your mistakes and then you find success. So here it is. Oh, also you're gonna see a sea -Doo right in the beginning of the video. I bought that sea -Doo after I sold my house. I sold my house, I made some cash and I went and I paid cash for a brand new sea -Doo. It's $14,000, paid cash and <laughs> so I sold it after a month and I lost four grand. I, lost, I don't even know why I'm saying this to you guys. I lost $4,000. Just something I thought would be neat. <laughs> so that's the sea dude. It's a lot of fun actually. It was worth the four grand for me anyways, but it's very bad investment. Very bad investment. Here's a video. Failure is nothing but feedback. That's it, that's all it is. It, it, it's this big scary word and it's absolutely nothing but feedback. Failure happens when you decide to make progress, when you decide to make change, when you decide to make something happen. The more you fail, the better you're gonna be, the, the faster you're gonna succeed. If I told you today, hey listen, if you fail 50 times, you're gonna succeed. Now tell me, you would jump out of bed in the morning, you would get up extra early in the morning just to go fail. So you could get those 50 times under your belt and then you could start winning. Then you could start succeeding. Well, that's what life is about. That's actually how it works. You fail so many times that it's physically impossible to make any more mistakes. You've learned everything you possibly can. You've failed immensely and now it's time to succeed. That's the exciting part and that's where I want you to be. So get up, get up extra early, go out there and start failing. It's kind of like a, like a maze. Like, you know, you know there's a finish line, but failure is kind of just standing there saying, no, not this way, you gotta turn around and you continue on a little bit longer. Then you meet up with failure, no, not this way, continue on. But you know eventually there's a finish line, there's a way out, there's an end goal. So just keep going and you're gonna find it no matter what. The only turn left is the right one. Quote me on that. The only turn left is the right one. Jesus. Getting intense up and we're getting intense up by this waterfall. It's a beautiful waterfall by the way. I want you to play the what if game. What if I go broke? What if I look like a fool? You have learned more than everybody else who plays it safe. So take all that knowledge. Take everything that you've learned and go apply it. I guarantee the next time you try you're gonna just breeze through it. Cause you've already, you've already cut down the path. You've already made a path. You just have to go pave it. Hey, listen, now I don't know if you're gonna be the guy that goes and tries something and is successful the first time, or if you're gonna be the guy who tries it 200 times and still hasn't figured it out. All I know is this, if you continue on, you work hard, you dedicate yourself to whatever it is you wanna do, you're consistent with it, and you believe in yourself, whatever it is that you think in your mind you want to achieve, you'll achieve it with all of those steps. It's so easy to fit in. It just takes no work at all. You look at what the guy's wearing next to you and you go wear that. Stop trying to fit in and start being true to yourself and being unique and using the gift that you've been given, whatever it may be, to change the world. Anyways guys, that wraps it up. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, success is your choice. Now go out and fail.
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Fail, fail every day. It's so funny watching that video over. Oh man, I look so young. All right, that's it for me, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, take care of yourselves, keep living that dream, and until next time, bye-bye.